All right, even though I worked at home today, I haven't had a chance to open any of these. And uh, I gotta tell you, today, a little bit excessive on the uh, <laughs> Amazon Almost Christmas. And I've got some really unusual things here to show you. Uh, they kind of range um, across several interests. I don't like to really differentiate uh, parts of my lifestyle. So you're gonna see some things in here that are related to technology and some of which are related to health and organic foods. So it's all the same in, in my world. Um, yeah, it, there's a little bit of mention of that today on my uh, blog post. And I'll put a link to that below and it's talking about Strategy Wednesday and what I do on a Strategy Wednesday. It's very simple and uh, I'm due to do that right after this video. So. Let's see what's inside. You know what, let's start with delivery this week from Space Girl Organics. I wish she'd put the label on that other side with their logo, because it's really cute. All right, so I've got to put all this stuff in the fridge anyway, or um, more realistically, I might just go ahead and eat some of it. <laughs> but I want to tell you the plans. Ah, first off. This is just great. Organic collard leaves, and these are perfect. I like to use these to wrap stuff up, and I'll put a link below to my collard wraps video. Uh, a lot of times I like to cook chicken um, ahead in the skillet, and I will save it and put chicken strips in here along with vegetables, a little bit of like uh, almond butter sauce, or you can wrap up salads in here. These are just too much fun. Something that's great, hummus, vegetables, roll it up, share or don't. Let's see. Okay. Well, I'm going to wash these anyway. I'll just set them on the floor. All right. And speaking of salads, whoa, gigantic thing of romaine lettuce. I'll put this to good use. Something I've been doing a lot recently is using um, rice wine vinegar, Bragg's liquid aminos, sesame oil, just a dash, and uh, what else is in there? Oh yeah, fresh ginger, blending all that up into a delicious dressing. If you, even if you just put it like sushi restaurant style on this and a bunch of shredded carrots, it's still really good. It's also great with, you know, many other things. All right, now I got the, um, I switched over to the small box, which was uh, $29.99, I think. That includes delivery. So there's a few less things in here than normal, which is good because it's been sometimes hard for even me with my voracious appetite uh, to eat everything. So this worked out pretty well. I've got two pears. These will be a nice treat. I consider pears to be desserts. You know, I don't eat a lot of sugar, so even fruit sugar counts. And I consider these, that's my, you know, nature's candy. And on that same vein, we have Jonah Gold apples. Two of these. These are going to be delicious. Chances are they will be enjoyed with some almond butter. Mm, delicious. As some of my friends know, I kind of skate the edge of ketosis on a regular basis, so um, I will have those on a very active day. I just tend to function better lower carb. Uh, aren't these adorable? Tiny little yellow summer squash. These are always great sauteed with a little bit of um, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Sometimes people put Cajun seasoning on them. I like them kind of pretty simply made. These are definitely not big enough to make that uh, casserole uh, with a little bit of egg. So I'm probably going to just cook these in the skillet. Ooh, a giant acorn squash. Wow. Okay, so this is so huge, I'm probably going to cook it in halves, and then maybe even, no, I might even cook this in quarters. I mean, look at this. Compare it to the size of my head. That is a big acorn squash. Awesome. Good make-aheads with that. Uh, broccoli and cucumber. So, salads. Um, you know, really good cucumber salad. And if you have some tomatoes, just chop them up, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, toss it all together, delicious. If you have some of the uh, Caprice style, you know, what is it, mozzarella cheese, toss in there, that's great. If not, it's good without it too. It's better with it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, broccoli. I've uh, got half of this mentally earmarked to do some of that 
detox salad just because I like it and I think it's the ultimate side dish. And last but not least, must have plenty of these at all times. Five limes, gotta have them in my San Pellegrino and also must have for guacamole. Guacamole is a food group over here, so this is great. And these are huge, amazing. All right, and it looks like I've got, oh, what is this? Some kind of, there's something in here. Yeah, October is a special month for um, Space Girl Organics, so there's always a little gift. What did we get this time? All right, mulling spices. Yeah, so it's a happy train month, which is October. And uh, so she always puts little gifts in, which this is great. Organic mulling spices. Very, very cool. All right. So I'm going to pack all this back up so we can start getting into the other items. Item of agenda. There's some more food related things in here but something else as well. Gotta keep Amazon busy. Okay, you know, I recently discovered that you can shop on Amazon on Delta flights without paying for the Wi-Fi. So they obviously have some kind of deal together. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? I think they grouped my orders in a funny way. These are super favorite items, and I am ashamed to admit how much I'm willing to pay for them. Uh, these are kelp noodles, and this is a three-pack from Amazon.com. I'll put the link below. Um, I love kelp noodles. They are made entirely from kelp. They're next to, like, nothing in terms of calories. Um, that's not why I get them. I get them because there's like one gram of carbs and that one gram is dietary fiber. Uh, if you believe in uh, net carbs uh, like I do, then that's very exciting. I use these in stir fries. I put them in bone broth. I put them in salads. I saw even at Whole Foods on their hot bar or actually the cold side of the hot bar, they had made a salady pad thai with these things. They don't have a smell, they don't have their own flavor, so they're not like those shirataki noodles, which you may have experimented with. And I, I think the package describes it as traditional flavor. That's a nice way of saying it smells kind of gross. Anyway, these don't smell like anything. They're great and they're, they're crunchy until you add something acidic to them. So if I add like a, um, a dressing that's got a vinegar or even like a lemon juice or lime juice in it, it will make these noodles less crunchy. Which is pretty cool. They've got a neat crunch to them too. So try them both ways. I even like the collar wraps. I'm gonna take some leftover chicken satay, put the sauce on this. There's a little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar in that, so it'll soften the noodles. And then I can put the noodles in there with the chicken and roll it up. That is something that's super, super favorite of mine. So anyway, that's kilt noodles. It's delicious. All right. This might surprise you and it might not. If we're close friends or you've been following me entirely too closely online, then this will make a little bit more sense as to what it is. Oh my goodness. Really packed this interestingly. Okay. Ooh, so exciting. Okay, so I thought I was getting a book with that today. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. I'm missing something, which I believe that I am, or it might be coming separately. Ah, here we go. This is exciting. It is an Arduino clone starter kit, and it has all kinds of stuff in it. Some of you know how much I'm a geek, uh, some of you don't, but if you don't, I'm a geek. And I've been very curious about Arduino. Um, I actually have a four-year computer science degree. You didn't know that. Computer science, digital arts, I was one of the first uh, from Stetson. So I, I have got a geek side. I know my way around a soldering iron. And gosh, I keep seeing these Arduinos pop up in interesting projects. 
Uh, something down the road after I finish a very large goal will be to get a 3D printer kit. And I noticed across the board that the ones I was most interested with were powered by a little Arduino. Hard to say it. Arduino. And uh, basically it's a little tiny computer. Oh goody. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of this. Hopefully I'm not gonna just accidentally dump it out, but it comes with all kinds of stuff. There's, oh yeah, here it is. So Ellie Gru is the company that's made the little um, Arduino uh, clone. This is an anti-static bag, so I'm not gonna pop it open because it's got a little baby computer in there. And it came with everything I need to start doing a bunch of different projects with it to really learn how to work with this thing. There's going to be some programming involved, which I haven't done any like honest to goodness, straight up code in a long time. I've done a lot of stuff with uh, internet things and, and fixing people's WordPress and fixing my own Drupal sites and writing some questionable HTML and fixing CSS. I'm telling you that you're missing a div tag and that it's not the end of the world. Those of you who know what I'm talking about totally know what I'm talking about. Got a little breadboard so I can test out my circuits with it. Oh man, so there's supposedly like a bajillion items in here. There's a little motor. There's a little, um, oh cool, a little ultrasonic um, kind of indicator of where things are. That's going to be a cool project. I saw somebody on Thingiverse had designed the cutest little robot using that type of sensor. So I am not allowing myself to, oh look, it's even got, it's got a little remote control for one of the projects. There's an LED readout. Very cool. So anyway, my idea was to get familiar, at least on a basic level, with the um, Arduino Ard to be able to first off say the darn thing, our, our now I can't say it at all. What is wrong with me? Arduino, there, Arduino. Um, to get a little bit more familiar with the platform in general uh, before really getting into any of those 3D printer kits anyway. And I'm thinking about, and I'm curious to hear what you think about it. Um, I'm considering maybe doing, like, um, Twitch has a creative area. I might do some of the projects on Twitch. I don't know. Maybe um, if I can stream uh, with a fast enough uplink. So, anyway, this is going to be way too much fun, and I'm looking forward to it. And I've got to put that stuff in the fridge, and I've got to make dinner. So, I hope you enjoyed this kind of mega haul unboxing of crazy things, and I'll see you again soon please visit gearyourgirl.com and subscribe. Please subscribe.